Hello, my name is Marcos Bustillo Ramirez and I am the teacher of Plástica in uh, first of ESO in the Colegio Meneciano de Santo Domingo de la Calzada. This is a video for my students in which I am going to show them, to explain them how to draw a regular hexagon. Then we are going to add new lines to get a complex structure and uh, finally we are going to paint it with our felt pens and with our colored pencils, okay? So, the first thing that I have to do is to draw a circumference perfectly centered in our plate. This is a common a power plate, like, like yours, like the ones that you use in the classroom, and we are going to use our ruler to calculate the midpoint between, between these two points in the upper side of our plates, okay? If I take this distance, I can calculate the midpoint, which is this one, okay? Midpoint. Then I'm going to do the same thing in the lower side of my plate, it is here. And when I get both midpoints, this one and this one, I will draw a vertical line joining them, like this. This vertical line has divided my plate into two equal parts. This is the left part of my plate, this is the right part of my plate. Now I'm going to use my ruler again to take the distance between these two midpoints and then I'm going to calculate the center of my plate, which is the midpoint of this vertical line. This is the midpoint, okay? So now I'm going to take my compass this is my compass, and I'm going to put the spike of my compass in the midpoint of this vertical line, and I'm going to open it, to open the arm of my compass until, until my circumference has a radius of 10 centimeters, which is here. Remember that the radius of a circumference is the distance between the center of the circumference and any of the points all these points that form the circumference, okay? If I take two times this distance, I will have a diameter. This is the diameter, look, from this point to this point, so that the radius is 10 centimeters and the diameter is 20 centimeters, okay? Well, now I'm going to divide my circumference into two into six equal parts. It's very easy if I use my compass, my compass again. Look, I'm going to put the spike here and I'm going to open it until the center of the first circumference, like this. And now I'm going to use this point and this point as centers of new circumferences that open until the center of the first one like this. Now I have divided my circumference into six equal parts, okay? And I'm going to join these points, which are going to be the vertices, the vertices of my regular hexagon. Hexagon is a Greek word meaning six angles, hexagon, okay? And it's very similar to Spanish hexagonal. Well, now I'm going to erase with my rubber all these straight lines because I'm not going to need them anymore. And I want to keep my drawing clean, okay? Remember, you mustn't press with your pencils because we are going to erase lots of lines and you don't have to uh, press with your pencils. Use them softly, okay? Well, now I have my circumference, my hexagon, my regular hexagon, because it has all its six sides equal and all of its six angles equal, okay? That's the reason to call it regular hexagon. Okay, now I'm going to 
use my imagination to add new lines in order to get a complex structure. Look, I can start by joining the midpoint of this segment with the midpoint of this segment. In my ruler, I will get the midpoint, which is here. And I'm going to join it with the midpoint of this segment, which is here. And I'm going to repeat this action six times until I have this new hexagon. It is also a regular hexagon, okay? And it has its vertices, six vertices, in the midpoints of the first hexagon, okay? Well, now I'm going to draw a new concentric circumference like this. Look, I, I have said concentric circumference. What is the meaning of concentric circumferences? Look, this circumference and this one share half the same center. When two circumferences share its centers, we say that these are concentric circumferences, like this one and this one, okay? Well, now I'm going to join this vertex with the opposite one. I'm going to do the same here and here drawing this horizontal line, okay? We have this vertical diameter we have this horizontal line. Okay, now I'm going to use my rubber to erase this vertical diameter because I don't need it. Okay, now I'm going to continue with my drawing. How about calculating the midpoint of this segment, which is this one, and joining it with this point, like this. Okay? I'm going to repeat this action six times. Here, here, once again, and this one. Look, if I erase these central lines, you can see that I have drawn a kind of windmill, like the ones that you use when you blow with your mouth. Eh? It it moves. Its its arms. These are its arms. They move when you blow over them. Okay. Well, now I'm going to color to paint my design this is my design we i i started with this simple hexagon and now i have a more complex structure okay to color my design i'm going to use this tool which is a color bucket or paint bucket but but remember that you have to do it with your felt pens and with your color pencils, okay? Well, I'm going to start by using, for instance, choosing this deep pink to color this central windmill. Now I'm going to take this color, gold, and I'm going to use it in these areas, alternating them. Eh? Now I'm going to choose this dark olive green for this, this and these areas. I'm going to take this sky blue to be used here. This midnight blue to be used here. Now I'm going to choose purple in this 
triangles I'm going to move this because I want you to see this area and now for instance this light green here here and here and finally I'm going to choose this tone of red okay? which is going to be used in these three areas okay this is my design this is my finished design okay well and finally I'm going to give you three recommendations three advices okay first of all remember that you have to be very clean right you have to use your drafting instruments accurately in second place uh, think that I am the teacher and I am here to help you if you have any difficulties so you can ask me and in third place rem remember that you have to be original you don't have to copy you don't need to copy I want to see different designs one from each of my students so uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this drawing this lesson and uh, I will see you next day at the classroom right well bye